and what's up everybody i'm back with another video game review today we are reviewing ikoni island and earthlock adventure quite a long title but uh this is another one of the games on the steam jingle jam bundle through the yogs cast um if you wanted I, which i did last holiday season if you want to do it this holiday season it's like 35 bucks you get a bunch of games and it's all for charity as well so it's a very good thing if you want to do it um and have some games to play but this was one of the games on last year's um so i got a lot of thoughts on it let's jump right into it shall we um now this, i gotta say this is a pretty fun game i did not really know what to expect coming in as par for the course for pretty much every game that I've done so far. Um, I didn't really get the premise. You kind of just are like going around and building things and like collecting resources and like I guess just trying to um, re reinvent the civilization but I don't know. It didn't really feel like uh, I don't know. I didn't really get too much of the premise about it but there's some other stuff too. Um, you can you can get tames and you can have pets, um, but managing the animals is a little weird because like even when they're like asleep, like you have to like worry about like feeding them and stuff like that, and um, you know it just feels like a little bit too much of an over maintenance for a video game. Obviously, it's like you know you gotta do that in real life, but. In a video game, like even in like Minecraft or Far Cry Primals are a great example. You don't have to feed them unless they're dying. Well, actually, that sounds wrong. You have to feed any animal to keep them from not dying. But in Far Cry Primal, you get their health back. Because they uh, hurt in battle. That kind of thing. Anyway. Um... I don't know, it just didn't, it didn't make me want to get many of the tames. Like, you have to get a couple in the tutorial, and that's really all that I wanted to get. Um, because that's really all I found out that I really cared to get. Because, like, and, and I only got other ones that maybe progress more and get me through places and whatnot like that. And so it's just, eh, why would I do more than that, you know? Let them free range, because then I don't have to worry about them, you know? There's a lot of loading in this game, too. Every time that there was, like, a switch between scenes and there was, like, a loading screen, it just took a lot longer than it really needed to, in my opinion. The, like, renderings of the, like, landscapes and everything, like, they're not necessarily, like, like, super simplistic, but they're far from, like, the most high-tech, um, massive, massive environments that it would just, that would justify such high loading times, and... It didn't feel like the game was running slow at all otherwise. It's just like the loading times took a very while. I don't... So I guess it just might have been standard practice for the game. But I don't know why they needed that. I don't know what high-tech stuff was justifying it, you know? Um... But also, overall, it just has a very, like, relaxing tone to it. The colors are just very, very relaxing. The environment just feels... Very laid back, and then you get this the music. The music is really, really good too, um, and helps with that too. So it helps make you know the game, and and you know it's a pretty simplistic um, task structure and all that kind of stuff, um, which just makes it you know just a nice little soothing game to play. Yay! Um, but it's a lot of fun too. So. And then there's co-op. You can do up the four-player co-op. I didn't get to do any of that, but it's cool that they implemented it. I never got to try any of the co-op, though, because who the hell would want to play this game with me? But, um, you know, I, for what it is, it seemed like a pretty fun thing. So, um, But yeah, other than that, that's really all I've got for notes on the game. I think it's a fun game. For my final score, I'm probably going to have to give it a good 8. I'll give it an 8. Um, it's a fun game. Definitely recommend trying it if you get the chance. Um, but it's not something you need to like go super out of your way for, you know. But anyways, 
that's going to do it for this review. So if you've ever played a Coney Island and invent an Earthlock adventure, I'd love to know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. And uh, that's going to do it for this video as well. So stay tuned for much more amazing content, including more game reviews and other awesome stuff. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.